Hey everybody, Dr. Ben here, Functional Medicine Center. Welcome and uh, so excited to be with you today. If you haven't already liked or followed our page, go ahead and hit that button in the upper corner. Share this message with anybody that you feel inspired to share this with when we're talking about should we be strong, should we be safe, what do we actually need to be doing on a daily basis to get our lives as good as we possibly can to be protected, to not have to deal with a lot of the stressors that are going out there with the immune system, with viruses, whatever it is. So welcome everybody. Uh, if you're jumping on, go ahead and put your uh, name down below and where you're watching from. We love to see, we get people from all over the country, all over the world. So love to see where you guys are, are uh, watching in from. So welcome. Should we be safe or should we be strong? Can you do both? What's gonna be more effective? So functional medicine, this is really what the whole, the whole discussion needs to be about is what is functional medicine and what is it that we're actually doing to our bodies to be able to fight off whatever it is. For me, I choose strength over safe. Safe is okay. Sure, you want to wash your hands. Even five years ago, my wife, when the kids would come out of the, the grocery store, she'd spray them down with some thieves. Uh, thieves spray and, and some essential oils and clean them off. So sure, you want to be safe. When you sneeze and you sneeze into your hands, you want to wash your hands and then you don't want to go touch somebody's other face. But overall, we need to have strength. We need to be strong more than we need to be safe. And so a really, really good point that I saw, I was at the library, the library opened up here and there's all these precautions, all these different, different measures that they're taking. And I, I was walking out and on this, uh, like the pizza board, it said, um, thank you for helping to keep our community healthy. And I was like, well, that's interesting. How, how are we keeping our, our community healthy? Because I'm all about health. Let's, let's see how we're keeping our community healthy. And you know what they said? Somebody guess what they said there, type that in. They said, wearing a mask. They said social distancing. They said washing your hands, da 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 da. All these things that we've been told is that is going to keep you healthy. Well, we know that wearing a mask does not keep you healthy. Wearing a mask may or may not prevent germs from coming into your, to your face, into your nose, into your mouth, but it has nothing to do with health. Health is about what is your body doing that is going to prevent when those germs are exposed, because I guarantee you those germs will be exposed onto you. It will be a sneeze, it will be coming in from the ductwork from the ceiling, it will be touching something. Somewhere, somehow, you will get exposed to germs, whether that's COVID, whether that's uh, other coronaviruses, flus, colds, bacterias, anything, salmonella, any of these things. Why does uh, that salad that comes out to Costco or whatever and has salmonella, why doesn't everybody get sick? Why, for the flu, why do only certain people get sick and you could be around it every single day and not get the flu? Why does somebody go on a, a trip and they drink water, the same water somebody else drinks, and their gut doesn't have any effect at all? Why is that? Well, it's because it's the terrain. It's all about that strength of the body body as opposed to the safety. Sure, we want to be safe and you don't want to be jumping off uh, off cliffs into water that isn't deep enough or whatever it is and you want to be safe that way, wear your seatbelt, you don't want to smoke, but it, it does not smoking make you healthy? No, that, but that's what we're looking at and that's what people are being told is that to create health is to prevent that virus from coming onto your body. And I'm gonna argue that that does nothing to help your health. If anything, uh, I just talked about this the other day, where people that have been isolated, that have been social, social distancing, all these things, their immune system isn't working as well. So they may be less healthy than they could be. And that's actually one of the things that happened with the Spanish flu. They, the research shows that there wasn't a major flu in Europe for 30 years before the Spanish flu hit, and guess what happened? Boom, it hit them and their bodies were not able to fight this off. So health is something that is totally different than being safe. And this is where the mainstream media, where the politicians, where the, uh, the doctors up in charge and Bill Gates and all these different people are failing. They're truly failing us. Are they saying every single day, put down that soda, put down that, that alcohol, put down that, that uh, cake, candy, 
anything that's going to jack with your blood sugar, put that down, put down the cigarettes, put down the, the recreational drugs, any of the things that are going to decrease or deplete our immune system. When we know, we knew this for months, we knew this back in March, 99% of the people that die with COVID have what? high blood pressure, cardiovascular disease, they have diabetes or prediabetes, they're overweight or obese, they have all these pre-existing conditions. 99% of the people that died in Italy with COVID had those pre-existing conditions. But guess what? That, that was not just a, a mass effort of saying, hey, you know what, you guys have to get healthy. Eat what, eat what makes your body healthy, eat right, uh, exercise, go to the gym, get out and walk, do all these things. That was not spoken about. I didn't see it anywhere. I, I check CNN, Fox News, MSNBC, all these websites every day to see what you guys are being told and to, to prepare my, my talk so that I can connect and see that, hey, this is where, where the, the dialogue is going. And I never once seen any, any type of article say, hey, you know what? Eat better, lose weight, uh, get, get your blood sugar stabilized, reverse your diabetes, any of these things. Nothing is spoken about about that. Bill Maher, he's uh, been on HBO, he's a, a talk show guy, and he had a great segment a couple weeks ago, and he said that you know, all these people are already dying and that have died with COVID, COVID just speeds it up. And not to say that, you know, it, it's sad to, to lose somebody a year or five years in advance or anything, but what he was saying was that no one is talking about this of saying, hey, you need to get your body truly healthy. You need to get your body truly strong and not just safe. You know, safe doesn't do much of anything. People are still dying. I guarantee you, if you look through, you can uh, see people that say, oh, they were isolated. They were socially distancing. They were wearing masks, all these things, and they still got sick and still died. We are going to get exposed to germs all the time. Uh, I have one of my mentors. He said that his aunt just passed away. She was 94 years old, and she had diabetes. She had lung issues. She had da, 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 all these different things, and she died this past week. They swabbed her, she had COVID. So did she die from COVID? No, absolutely not. COVID is not enough of a, of a virus to actually kill somebody. But if you have pre-existing conditions, if your body is weak enough, if your body is depleted enough, then absolutely you can die with COVID. You'll die of something else, but the virus itself does not kill people. It can stimulate inflammatory cascades, it can stimulate a lot of other issues, but it's not the, the virus itself, just like people don't die you know, because they get the flu. Uh, 80,000 people a year don't die from the flu, they die, this virus comes in and their body's already depleted and they get other issues that are then going to contribute to them dying. And so they may die of, of fluid in the lungs or pneumonia or any number of other things. But ultimately, it's all about being strong enough to fight these things off, strong enough to be able to handle any stressor that comes your way. And that's what the functional medicine perspective is. And that's what we talk about every day with our patients is your terrain is way more important than whatever the bug is. And that's what we've got to do. You've got to get your proper sleep. You've got to balance your blood sugar. You've got to look at your blood work and determine where those imbalances are. What is, what is going on with all these different uh, different issues, whether it's your, your liver, your gut, your brain, your inflammatory markers, do you have autoimmune, all these different things, we've got to come through and get that body as strong as possible and really drive it to that forefront so that you can handle anything that comes at you. Because when COVID's over, there's gonna be something else. And then when that's over, there's gonna be something else. Every day your body is being attacked and really you've got to look at this as getting up every day and being as strong, working out, being vibrant, have vitality to be able to handle any stressor, whether it's an emotional stressor, a physical stressor, an immune stressor, whatever it is, get your body in as good of state as possible. So. Uh, Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you take this to heart and that you really start thinking about how to get your body as strong as possible. If you have any questions on how to do that, go ahead and put those down below. We answer questions even weeks out uh, afterwards. So we love communicating. If you have any questions on your own personal health, drop us a line. I always do complimentary consultations. Uh, we have our office in Fort Collins, Colorado, Phoenix, Arizona, and uh, we work with patients all over the country. So drop us a line. Let us know how you're doing. Let me know what you're doing to be strong today. All right, guys, take care.